guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura Xani and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the lovely Millie. Hello. And we're back at it with another video. This time it's not a game. This time it's more serious. Very serious. Very serious. Can you not tell by my business attire and her glasses? Um, today we're going to be talking about university, specifically Sterling Uni. No, we're not about to do a diss track. This is... <laughs> I like Sterling. <laughs> I just want to warn you about it too. <laughs> yes, because we know that uni is about to start up and there's probably a lot of you, most likely if you clicked on this video, you're going to Sterling Uni. Well, or we unless you're a sense. subscriber. Yeah, like... Unless you're a subscriber, but which there's not that many of. But obviously this is about Sterling Uni and we're not going to just tell you all the good things about it. We're not getting paid to do this. Uh, this is not paid for. No. This is just... Otherwise we'd be much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously going into my fourth year, so I thought I better warn you and basically tell you the things I wish I had knew, known when I was going into first year. Also, some of these apply to students that already go here. So, here we go. Millie might need to read most of these because I ain't got my glasses on. Okay, so... If living in the new builds, get a lanyard for your key. Number one. Because, A, it's easier if you put it on your door. So this is if you're living in like Juniper, Beach or Willow. Willow. So if you put it on your door, it's easier to take out. But the amount of times that we have maybe done it on each other's doors yeah. when we were going out or something like that. So that one, at least one person has a key, but then we know where ours is on the way out. But also, if you're going to throw your key out to someone, if you've got a pal coming in, you can't be arsed to go downstairs. Which you shouldn't do. Which you but shouldn't. But I ain't going down three flights of stairs to let them in. So. No, no. So what you do is you throw it out your kitchen window. Or your bedroom window. Kitchen is safest. Yeah. And it's going to fall in the drain the amount of times that's happened. But at least if you've got a lanyard on it and it falls down the drain, you can easily pull it back up. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Well, 1A, because it's still about the key. Oh, yes. <laughs> Make sure to keep it away from your phone. Yes, just like a hotel key, we've made that mistake many a time. One of our flatmates lost slash wrecked her key about 13 times and just... It was over 20 by the end of the year. Yeah, but I'm talking about in one semester, it was about 13 times. <sighs> 20 in a year, man. But 20 in a year, and remember, a year is not 12 months at uni. It's two semesters. <laughs> it's two semesters, so it's genuinely nine months. Yeah. This, now, another one, another one. One B. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid to go to beach and ask security to come and help you get your key if you've left it in your room. They might yeah. be grumpy, but it's, it's, they do it. it's their job. You're not the first and you ain't gonna be the last. And I think the limit is now, because when I've been in to get the keys for the radio station, the limit's now 15 minutes. To get, oh, your key to get back. your key back. I see. So the limit only used to be about five minutes when we were there. Yeah, but the only thing is, it's like, to be honest with you, Beach, Juniper and Willow are all very close to each other. So if you're going to Willow, it takes you a minute to get there, to get basically, it's they give yeah. you a new key. Yeah. And then you go, you get your old key and you give your old key back so they can deactivate it. But if you take longer than 15 minutes, you have to pay a fiver. So how many times did she pay a fiver? She didn't. Oh no, she rule wasn't did. implemented when we were there. Oh yeah. There was oh no yeah. No time limit. Yeah. I was lost my key for an hour. Yeah. But now you guys have got a time limit. <laughs> Woo! So I was afraid of that. It's, pro it's probably her. Right. It's probably that's just yeah. probably the reason why they've got a limit now. Next one. Yeah, go for it. Two. Join clubs and societies. Please, please do it. Please do it. I wish I'd done that in the first year. Oh, the first semester of first year. No, I, I, I'm I, glad I didn't for the first year, but that's only me because I'm a very antisocial person. Yeah. But after I'd got comfortable, I'd definitely recommend going into yeah. societies because I tried to join the LGBT one, which just, it was just too extroverted for me, shall we oh, say. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The, the ones that I'm in at the minute are Air 3, the radio one, and Air TV. Yeah, which I'm going to be joining come September and I'm going to be going back to Suds that if you're a drama kid like me, Suds is Sterling University Drama Society. If you, I think I've talked about it before on this channel. I've talked about how I was part of it, I did The Unexpected Guest and um, I was 
very easy for me not to forget my character's name because it was Laura also. Um, but yeah, no, I thoroughly enjoyed that and actually the president of Suds, I went to school with her. So <laughs> that always helps if you know someone from your class or something. But we, there is a list of them. So if you go into sterlingstudentsunion.com they'll give you the A to Z but just to give you a bit of a difference of what they are we've got the Afro-Caribbean Club, you've got Anime Society, there's the Art Club, the Newspaper Brig, uh, you've got the Conservative Society, uh, the Creative Writing, look I'm just trying to be equal, <laughs> you've got the Dragon's Quidditch Society, yeah, you get you know, to go play. That. Yeah, that's the one where you go and play Quidditch out in the field. That's not part of the Wizarding Society. We have the Wizarding Harry Potter Society as you well. You guys need two world clubs. Mhm. Mm wow. Gender equality movement. Uh, the geography. The geography society. Yeah. What did they do? Go and discuss hills. No geography. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. No maps. They like Labour, maps. Labour, Islamic law, literature, marketing, socialist, politics, red. Yeah, Red Cross. There's lots and lots. I'm literally and going through all of them here. Oh, I got to the bottom, but there's me scrolling to the top. Here, is the show up one still apart? No. Good. Thanks, fuck. Uh, if you didn't know, you can actually make your own society. You need to have about five members or something. Look it up. I tried to make the Sherlock Society in first year. It did not work. But at least I tried. Because of you. <laughs> didn't work because of you. Hi. Because you didn't, couldn't be bothered to meet up with everyone every week. You told me that. Oh no, and then everyone fell out. Yeah, no one... because you didn't want to meet up with people. Yeah. But, oh well, I tried. Go to Freshers' Fair at the very least, even if you don't want to go to the events. Mm -hmm. Go to the Freshers' Fair because it's during the day. You don't have to pressure yourself to go out and do any of the events or anything like that. But you can go and see people. And I'm assuming you and me are most likely. I was going to drag us into this. We're most likely going to be part of the Freshers' Week. Well, we will be part of the Freshers' Week as part of Air 3 Radio because I'm head of news and Laura's is part of the society as well. We've got our own radio shows, but you should definitely come because we have BBC Radio 1 DJ Jordan North coming in on our week. Yeah. Air 3's sponsor, sponsoring that event, so definitely come to What? That. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. I didn't know this. Don't feel pressured to drink or go out. You don't have to. I just don't like it. I, I'm allergic to alcohol. I don't think that I you need to have alcohol to have fun. There's plenty of shit around in Sterling. We've got bowling. That's sick. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what else there is. But that's because people... I'm an extrovert. I mean, introvert. What's yeah. introvert? Yeah. I'm an extroverted introvert and the amount of people that ask me at work, what's good in Sterling? And I'm like, I have no clue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything, but yeah. Whatever number this is, <laughs> attend your lectures. Yes, do it. Don't abuse... What is the recording called? Listen again. Don't abuse, listen again. Just don't. Don't do it. Take don't. this from someone who didn't attend a single... <laughs> a single sociology lecture in third year. This is not helpful for you to see because you. Didn't I didn't pass third year though. I have to reset it. So oh, fair. take our advice. <laughs> to be but fair, I didn't pass because I was ill, not because I didn't attend lectures. But go to your lectures. In first year, <laughs> she barely attended global cinema and ended up with a really good grade. Yeah. So, but ignore me. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> yeah, and plus lectures. There's something about actually going to a lecture and hearing it. Right. We're not telling you to go to every single one. Right. No. We're not that you know retentive, but. But the school does have a good thing for disabled students or students who are ill and people who can't make it to every lecture where they can listen again. And it's good to use, especially for revision and stuff, but don't rely on it. Go to your classes. As yeah. much as we're joking about how we didn't go, you don't understand how much we wish we go at the end of it. Like, and if you've got a thing on your um, timetable where it is clashing, clash, yeah. right? sort that clash out. I should have done that in third Try. year. I, I should have, well I, I should have done it with PR and script writing but although I got a first in script writing didn't go to any <laughs> single lecture, that is not the point. I went to every PR lecture, every single one didn't I? And I got a four. So that's not, that, no that's the opposite story of what we're trying to do. Go to your lectures. Register at the doctors. Yeah, I didn't know that when I came to uni you can actually temporarily be registered. The, uh, you, the, you can be studently <laughs> <laughs> it can 
you can be registered as a student at your uni's doctors and also still be registered at home. Yeah, temporary patient registry. Yeah, I was uh, not aware of this. Because it also has the dentist. So go there, use the uni stuff because it's so easy. And if you need to pick up a prescription, we just walk over the bed. Okay, this is a very good piece of information I didn't even know you'd written down, but this is very smart. <laughs> if you need to go to the doctors at the walk-in, the walk-in starts at nine, get there at like half eight. <laughs> You might be waiting half an hour, but that's half an hour less than you'll be waiting if you go in during the actual walk-in hours. Yeah. So, always get there super early for the walk-in. And if you have a class at 9am, message your tutor and be like, I'm literally at the walk-in, they'll be like, oh, fair enough. Yeah. So. <laughs> How to survive Sterling. <laughs> have the security number in your phone and clearly marked. It'll make your life easier in the long run because you never know when you might need it. But also take down beach slash juniper's security one to keep in your mobile because yeah. they are the worst people to get hold of especially because if you join the radio society and you're doing the radio mm -hmm. you've got to go pick up your keys and stuff they are the hardest people to get hold of so you want all of the numbers that you can yeah. get yeah and maybe put security beach and then security thingy and when you're in doing the radio this is only for people joining the radio don't phone Juniper for her first, phone security first. Security they do first. know that the radio station is, and I was terrified about doing it because I thought I was going to be bothering them, but they don't mind. The amount of times they've heard me scream up like, Aya, can I, can I put the keys back? And they're all right, you're fine. Make use of counselling. By the way, I wrote all these, Millie's just reading them out because I can't see. But she's like, the way she's just like, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what they're saying and pr project at the same time. <laughs> Acting. <laughs> anyway, make use of counselling. Yeah, not a funny subject. If you can't guess you. by our dyed hair, we have mental health problems. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> So, series on that conference. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke, there is a series coming soon. But yes, I've spoken about mine before, kind of briefly, not in depth like I'm gonna do, but I wish I'd started counselling. Well, to be fair, I did get, to be fair, the counselling, I'll put this way. Find put what it, works for you. Yeah, but put, the uni has a lot of options. Well, to put it this way, basically when I went to the uni doctors about my depression and anxiety, I actually got diagnosed with it there. So it I took... lost my anxiety records, didn't I, coming up yeah. here in first year and all it took was them to have one in like appointment with me and they were really good and I got put on meds straight away. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people have issue with the mental health stuff at the, at the yeah. uni and it's fair that they do. I am not saying that these people are wrong because yeah. I think mental health issues in general need a lot more support and yeah. help, don't they? But I think yeah. the options available at Sterling Uni have definitely helped me and I think that even though, yeah, more money needs to be put in and more time and more people and training, it's still better than what you're going to get in a lot of other places. Well, um, I obviously hold it quite high yeah. as being the only place that actually died noised me but not just I mean. that you could have counseling but you can also have mental health mentors yes. which is what i've got yeah um, you're looking to get one as well mm -hmm. so they're slightly different from counseling i love my mental health mentor she's my favorite person but you can also do they do stress classes they do anxiety classes and you can do the therapy at the the actual doctor's yeah. not part you can of do the it uni. As a, away from it's the uni as well part, as part of the of nhs the, yeah because yeah. the doctors can is obviously not part of the uni but it's just the yeah. uni doctors but um what was i was going to say but this is what i was going to say needs assessment get that in as soon as i can i know that i have left this video really long so maybe if you're thinking to go to sterling next year start thinking if you have a disability we're not joking about this we're not no. trying to be like oh go really early but they do have a high influx because you were saying that Sterling Uni is one of the only uni that allows It's like, one of the only ones that allows like uh, ex-convicts and things like that without asking so obviously more people with mental health issues are more likely to go to these places etc yeah. etc cetera, et cetera. we're talking about sociological stuff but in general if you need help Sterling will try to give it to you Yeah They really will Yeah so I think with Aruas, uh don't yeah. forget to ask about DSA. I didn't even know about that as a disabled student, disabled students allowance, so definitely have yeah. a look. So. Just be 
get yourself supported. The minute you get accepted, have a look and see what Sterling offers for you. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll leave links down below to what Sterling does offer within the mental health bit. Yes. Because then that can... To the student services hub, yeah, etc, etc. Which will allow you to have a quick look through. But if you are going to apply for it now, you will have to wait a bit of a time. Uh, for counselling, etc. Yeah. If and you bug them. If you bug them, just bug them for a needs assessment. Em. Assessment. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it took you a while. Oh yeah, but that's what I mean. I came to uni in first year with no support, not even on any meds. And what happened, I spent most of my time at home, which is 400 miles away. And that's mm. not what I wanted to do. I wanted to have the uni experience. But then, Look at you now. Yeah, now I'm fully medicated. I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that <laughs> cool. Now I am not as mentally <laughs> ill as I was before. But I'm doing much better and it's because yeah. of the help I've been getting at the uni. Yeah, I feel the same now as yeah. well. I feel a bit more kind of like, well, someone... Someone believes so me. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit different. I think it helps as well being friends with adults and having the people you surround yeah. with. Because that moves me on to another point that isn't on here. But... You don't have to be friends with your flatmates. Yes, mm -hmm. I make I make a point about oh, that. You? I do, I do, don't I? Um, it. Oh, there yeah, it is! It, it was the next point. Amazing. <laughs> this is like if you have seen our Mister and Mrs. episode. This is like that last question that we did that we both freaked ourselves out on. So it's great <laughs> if you make first friends with someone fast. fast. <laughs> it's great if you make fast friends with someone, but remember. Don't isolate yourself to people just in your flat. Arguments are bound to come. No matter what. No matter what. I mean, we live together now and we still fucking rip each other apart every so every other day. But that's the point. Yeah, but that's because the point. Healthy. Because now we can talk about it. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning also not to be a stoke old bitch. But. Yeah, but when we were in first year, we clung to each other like fucking limpets. I'd say it was more... I was so against being around people and yes. you wanted to surround yourself with it. It was yeah. first year's difficult for everyone. And we mm -hmm. even went to the first year as older students. I was twenty what? One. One because I was twenty twenty one. I was twenty one. I was twenty when I moved. So I we were technically classed as mature students, yeah. but it's difficult for everyone. It is, it is though, and I think if you're I was lucky enough, you came knowing fuck anyone, I was lucky to cut oh, fuck anyone. <laughs> Fuck everyone! I was lucky to know Fern and her boyfriend and through Fern her flatmates, although she was a year above me and Lauren Anderson as well, I knew... That's the point, yeah, if you can, they do usually do little Facebook groups, don't they, for, for you to try and get to know people before you move in. Yes, Join yes that, they do. Try and have a look. Because that's how you... Oh, I forgot to note that down. On Facebook, there is um, your... Basically, if you type in if you're in Alley Court or if you're in Willow, you type that in, right? Type in the year you're going, so it'll be 2019 to 2020. And they, if you put in, hi, I'm in Willow. Um, I'm in, in uh, example, Willow 3C, three. Three that's what we were yeah, in. Yeah, that was our flat. C. And they have tons of people get yeah, yeah, get added to the chat. That's so. where I got Joanna and yeah. Linda and all that, and you all get added, and you get to talk to them before you actually So it makes you feel up. a little bit, don't do what yeah. I did. <laughs> And don't join yeah, any of them because I didn't even see any of my flatmates until about the third day of me being there. Yeah. So. And we just were like, walked in, there's this girl with dyed hair, and I was just like. And I was there <laughs> cooking eggs at like four o'clock in the morning, like, what's that, bitches? Do you know something? It's like, it's bizarre because never in my life did I think when I saw this first little rainbow haired, like, person just peek out, and I was like, oh, she's a. Oh, oh, okay, so she's one of our flatmates. Great. Oh god, she's right in front of my door. Little did I know that three years later I'd be living with you. But, you know, things happen. I try real them all in, baby. Uh, so yes, make friends with everyone. Uh, it's important to make friends in your courses, I'd say. Yes. Because when it comes to like group work, you're gonna want Fuck friends. You. Don't be like me, I have no friends in sociology. And yes. I, I don't have any friends in sociology and I'm trying to help you learn from my mistake. Hello guys, I know I've left you on an ending of just seeing Tina peek out by my boobs um, but this is a mammoth video so I decided to cut it into two parts this is part one, part two will be up on Thursday um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far 
Um, and I'm excited for you to hear the rest of our tips for Sterling Uni. If you're going to Sterling Uni, drop me a comment down below or tweet me and Millie. Our apps are down below and let us know what you're most excited for. And we'll see you on Thursday for part two. See you guys then. Bye!